Hey guys, everywhere don't scatter. As a former president of Nigeria, review this. Nigerians just they talk left, right, and center. Anyway, make we hit the news zone and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, I beg, subscribe to this channel, like, and share. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Wari said he was not brought up in Fulani culture. He did not know his father and mother was 100% Hausa. The former president, Muhammad Buhari, said that although being of Fulani descent, he was not brought up in the Fulani culture and that he was unaware of his father's identity. The former president said that he said this, he said that his mother was Hausa. Okay, he reviewed this during a book launch in Abuja. In the contribution of the book, which was authored by his former special advisor on media and public city, Femi Additional, Buari said that he does not know what fulanization is. The former president was saying this while reacting to the claims that his policies were aimed at the fulanization of Nigeria. According to the report by the nation, Buari said that it is unfair for people to talk about fulanization and that although people can think of whatever they want to think, he hopes that they should be fair in their judgment. He said, I don't know what, what is fulanization means. I was not brought up under Fulani culture. Though I look like one, I did not know my father, but he was 100% Fulani. And my mother was 100% Aosa. She brought me up. It is very unfair to talk about fulanization. I cannot interfere with a cheap uh, consent or conscience. People can make up their mind based on what they reason, okay, or what their reasons are. They hope they will be fair. I hope they will be fair. Wari said that the problem with Nigeria is not religion or ethnicity, but that the problem is the people. Okay. According to the former president, too, Muhammad Buhari said no one can accuse him of corruption because he did not construct any new homes during his time in office. During a book, this book launch in Abuja, the former president ascertained that he has constantly disclosed his assets and urged individuals to inquire what the Attorney General of the Federation about my record that may implicate him in corruption. The former president reportedly urged people to find out from the recent authorities how many people were persecuted for corruption during his administration. This was stated in a report published by the nation. Check with the relevant audiences, okay, about the impact on others and the number of persecutions in the war against corruption. He said, I have never constructed a new home. I have always closed my assets. I have always disclosed my assets. And no one can accuse me of corruption. You can find out if there, if there if there was even an anonymous letter accusing me of anything by asking the Federation's Attorney General or Accountant General. In this book, Introduction, which was released in Abuja, Wari stated that the economy was entirely independent on Oye, which he took office in 2015, but that he was able to diversify it during his administration. According to him, Nigeria no longer depends on oil and its survivor. Though Nigerians have reacted, lie, lie, lie. You are not who you present yourself to be. You are an imposter, Buhari, since 1980s. Now, wow, somebody just dropped that one. The problem is you. He has lost all his investments in Niger to Junta. But to you, we are strongly making every state and local government to lose their narrative 
or their native land to Fulani Hesmen up till now. They invaded they invaded many they invaded many communities. Okay? They grabbed their land and killing and doing whatever things they like to people's wives and daughters. We we are the moral justifi justification for this ugly policy and at Nigeria has lost its direction and caused by the leaders and the elites bad broken okay bad broken out of Fulani group Buari is a capital liar the dot in a circle survived your atrocities against them for eight years so get that who won't hear your story? His father is from Niger. Why he's hiding? Why is hiding? Why is he hiding his identity? Again, after all, he cannot be a uh, longer hold, and the uh, political or police policy can upheld the presidents the, the in Nigeria. Probably Niger Niger can consider him. Nobody is interested in all those stories, okay? Those stories, my foot. So, guys, there are so many of them, but this is, you know, the least I can go for now. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.